Hello everybody, my name is Leandro Mada. In this video we're going to see how we need to configure the HMI GTO in order to connect to the EcoStructure Secure Connect Advisor. Let's go to the presentation. So, this is our architecture, what we want to do, okay? Trying to implement the solution EcoStructure Secure Connect Advisor in order to use our HMI. If you remember, in the past we talked about the Gate Manager, the Link Manager. If we go back, the Gate Manager will be in the cloud that allows us to connect the HMI to our laptop, to connect the technician to the remote site. And the Link Manager will be installed in your laptop. And now we're going to see how we need to configure the Site Manager on the HMI. This is the idea, okay? We need to configure the site manager, okay, on the HMI. And in order to do that, what we need to do is to download an application in BGO Designer to the HMI so we can get access to the configuration of the HMI. This process will be similar to the one that we have already made with the EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert with the HMI ST6. Now we're going to do something similar, but with the HMI GTO. So, what we need to do is to create a project of PGO Designer, okay? And if you already have the HMI with an application, then you need to go to the system configuration of the HMI. So, let's see how we can do this. Okay, this is the beginning, how you need to start a project. Okay, the different ways to start, the name of the project. Here you need to configure the HMI, okay, the one that you're going to use, and it's compatible with the EcoStructure Secure Connect Advisor. Uh, ta -ta, let's go, and this is will be the application that you have. So, there are a few things that we need to check first. In this example, I'm going to use the DHCP to assign automatically an IP address in the network that I'm working with, the router. So we need to go to the HMI and the target, go to the network, network configuration and select the DHCP. Then OK to establish that. If you want the remote access for the web gate, we should probably go to remote access, share the data sharing and select in each variable the data sharing and the read write of the variables and the web server along with the web gate. Next, how we need how we can get access to the configuration. Okay, it's easy by default this is the configuration. You need to click or touch in the two corners, okay, not simultaneously, one after the other, okay, in this case or you can create a button to get access to the system configuration. And once we already have that, what we need to do is to go to the general and select the USB to download to the target. And here you have the possibility to download. So in this one we select the way that we want to transfer to the HMI in this case, we're going to use the USB and then download to the target. So, let's go to the software, BGO Designer. I have made this template. Okay. You can see here I have already configured the USB to download the network, which is DHCP the remote access, data sharing, web server, and everything in there. So, I have already downloaded this to the HMI, as you can see in here. Here, that is the HMI. So, let me just change a little bit this.
and there we go so what we're gonna do now is to go to the system configuration here we need to select this option offline and select network when we select the network all this option are to be offline so the HMI will restart okay it's booting we need to wait for this There we go. So this one is the configuration. This one is the configuration. So what we need to do is to go to the Secure Connect. Here we need to go to Secure Connect. Enable. Mm -hmm. There we go. Here we need to put our credentials. So I don't remember this so let me just go further in the presentation and check this these are the values they can be found on the site manager also so let me just put the IP address one three dot seven four dot one three dot one two nine. Just have a check. Yes, it's correct. Enter domain token S E U K dot five zero five two zero one nine six one nine six. Okay. And uh, now this appliance name, okay, will be the name that I want to be shown on the on the platform. So let's open the gate manager. I have already opened this. So the new name should be in here. So let me just go back here. Okay, so I'm going to use the HMI, HMI, BGD, okay, apply. So you will see there that it's not connected and it should try to connect. Okay, let me just refresh and there we go. Here is the HMI or the link to the gate manager okay you can see are not already connected with the link manager it doesn't matter yet okay so this is how you can attach the HMI from the site manager to the gate manager and this message not attached to a domain is because just go back to the full screen because we don't have any license attached so what we need to do later we're going to see is to how we need to attach the license to the HMI so then we can connect thank you very much for watching me and I hope this video is very useful in your daily day